They say that only falls an Englishman out in the midday sun. And this is the midday sun. And I'm a little bit foolish to be going out, vineyard sampling. It's about 36, 37 degrees today. Uh, and this is autumn in Australia. Uh, pretty hot end of the season here. And I'm walking through a new vineyard that we're using this year for the Thorny Devil Grenache. It's uh, a vineyard which was planted in uh, around about 2000. So it's not, not an old vineyard, but as you can see from the vines, pretty big stems, really good foliage considering the heat. And I'm wandering through here today to gauge whether this vineyard is ready to pick. I've just done the sampling. Need to go back to the winery now to do the analysis of it. But it's looking like it's pretty darn close to be picked. We're not looking for really intense raisin berries that produce sweet, rather gloopy juice. We're looking for something which has still got its vibrancy and lift and aromatic profile, which is really the sort of signature of the Sudan wines. What really helps here and this vineyard site, or at least we, we hope it will, given it's the first year we're using it, is the soil profile. Pretty consistent with what we're using elsewhere in uh, other vineyards, particularly in McLaren Vale. Sand. And, as I've said before, when looking at the Vagabond Grenache, what we really think helps with uh, Grenache is uh, a really light soil structure, which drains away um, and I think it leads to a really sort of delicate uh, fruit profile. We don't want loads of black fruit character in, in Grenache. We're looking for delicacy, nice red fruits, hint of cranberry, a little bit of spice. And even though we're working in what is a, a pretty intense climate, given it's 37 degrees in autumn, we're still looking to show that real vibrancy, drive and energy throughout the wines. Um, which is which is really what Thistledown is all about, trying to make wines which even though they come from a pretty extreme climate they have a delicacy and a purity and that sort of core of really pretty bright fruit which all we do in the winery is really just coax it along, we're not doing anything particularly uh, clever, we're just looking to do as little as possible to ensure that when we pick the grapes on the way up in the vineyard we uh, maximise that fruit expression and aroma in the winery. So this is really the start of the story for 2016. Thorny Devil Grenache. And we hope it's going to be every bit as delicious, juicy and succulent as the previous vintages.